Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. I want to get into a few articles of discussion, as we have done videos on them before, but there are updates. This headline of this article, European Central Bank caught up with DLT, and will it be used for CBDCs? But I really want to discuss a section of this article as we scroll down, give it a moment. Okay, we have here, the ECB and others have also addressed the two distinctions of CBDCs. As you've heard, if you follow this channel, there are wholesale and retail. So I think this is great because this just reinforces everything that we discuss at great extent and great length here on this channel. Moreover, a wholesale CBDC will not be able to change the existing monetary system as non-banks would continue to keep their accounts with commercial banks, while payments between customers of two different banks would continue to be made using digital central bank money using the DLT-based reserves. Only an expanded use of the DLT system will turn advantageous for wholesale CBDCs if further transactions like security transfers were possible to process via the DLT-based transaction system, the paper noted. And on the contrary, a retail CBDC will make accessibility of euro easier as a digital currency unit to the public, the general public, and provide an alternative to bank money. The use of CBDCs will differ from industrialized countries like Luxembourg, Norway, and Iceland to developing countries like Albania, Bulgaria, and Croatia. As central banks around the world work to solve concerns related to retail CBDCs, the ECB has also intensified its efforts in 2019 to ECB publications noted that the central bank was actively researching CBDCs. The central bank uh, recently also joined a consortium of, of banks to aid each other with the research and analysis of potential use for a CBDC. The Eurozone may see the arrival of a CBDC sometime in the future. However, whether it will be using DLT remains a mystery. One thing I want to point out here, as we've shown, when you discuss wholesale enterprise and institution that is the design of xrp when you discuss retail the peer-to-peer -peer, unbanked and underbanked it typically focuses on stellar's technology again neither are these are limited to either they're only focused on those because either of the above can do uh, what both of them somewhat do within reason but again, we're talking focus here. And then an article that came up this the past week, uh, why Cambodia is eager to launch its own DLT-based digital currency or whatever you want to call it. The reason I thought this stuck out to me is because of the previous article. Will central bank uh, digital currencies be using the DLT? And here you have why it's eager to launch its own DLT-based currency. As we get in here, we know that the National Bank of Cambodia works through Soramitsu and the Beikong project. And as we've done a video before, you have Soramitsu, National Bank of Cambodia, and Beikong introducing Beikong. We are pleased to announce Beikong, the collaboration between Soramitsu and the National Bank of Cambodia. Beikong is Cambodia's only integrated payment system that allows you to do everything e wallet, mobile payment online banking, and financial applications all in one place. And as we got into the uh, Soramitsu on their website, you have the untrusted and then you have the trusted right here with Stellar, Tenderman, and the Hyperledger Aroha. And Hyperledger again kind of bounces back and forth from Stellar. So you have uh, Quorum, which also, again, runs on the Ethereum, and you have Ethereum Direct under the untrusted. But these are under the trusted of the Soramitsu with the Cambodia's digital 
uh, central bank digital currency. So again, as before we've shown, it connects directly to Stellar. So here's something too I just wanted to share from an article, but I think it's, it's still relevant today. Achievements of Stellar Network. Stellar is gaining ground over Ethereum because it is cheaper and faster. An asset exchange is a built-in feature of the Stellar protocol. While users normally have to use third-party exchanges in order to deal with Ethereum transactions, this ease of use has made Stellar popular with a lot of projects. IBM is one of the biggest names that has multiple projects currently using the Stellar blockchain. And again, they have multiple projects, which is important. It has launched the Stellar-based payment system called Blockchain Worldwire, and IBM has also streamlined the previously complex and cumbersome process of carbon credit trading with Stellar-based system set up to offset environmental damage by supporting a patch of Indonesian rainforest. And as you know, all the way up to Davos, before the issue at hand, the major concern with all of these cryptocurrencies, are they green enough? And we've shown that Stellar and Ripple tend to have their hands on the greenest of the green. And I want to finish this with Stellar Development Foundation. SDF has acquired Chain, a blockchain firm. In September of 2018, the firm is backed by Visa, NASDAQ, and City Ventures. As we've shown in the article yesterday, Visa connecting to Stellar, but we know Visa acquiring Earthport connected them to Ripple. But then they had an article yesterday that said they're possibly choosing Ethereum. And again, in our research, we've shown Ripple, Stellar, and Ethereum being the basis to the new financial system. Also, Stellar has recently implemented the Stellar Decentralized Exchange. The SDEX and Works is in progress on the Stellar Lightning Network, even though Stellar might not yet have big brand recognition of Ethereum. But the advantages described above and the support of some major industry players ensure it is becoming more and more prominent in the blockchain ecosystem. So I just want to share that, even though this was a little bit of an older article, it's still very relevant, especially to the newer people. And even if you knew all of these details, you're still in less than 1% of the global population who are even aware of what you now know. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this off with a final thought. And I thought this was excellent as the physical appearance, writing I can't on a piece of paper can easily be changed to I can. I can and I can't are only separated by your mental attitude. The rest is up to you. All right, guys, remember this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purpose only. Thank you so much for all of your support, and we will catch you in the next one.